guess what? We've been gaming, and now we gotta ask y'all, y'all gaming. All right, guys. Uh, I'm TK Breezes, Tony. Obviously, you already know what time it is. Uh, we're gonna talk Hi. about we're gonna talk about some of the games that we have been gaming on this week. Uh, uh, and this week has been a great week because the PS5 came out. So, big shouts to that. Uh, but I have been playing Spider Man. He has been playing Bug Snacks. I've also played a little bit Bug Snacks, but he has been playing way more Bug Snacks than me. Mm -hmm. So, we'll get into that uh, very soon. But first and foremost, Tony, how you doing? Good. I finally got my PS5 today. I had some trouble getting it working because of the HDCP or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had to I had to turn that off, and I forgot what a what a problem that is. Also, I tried to transfer over my PS4 data. And I have to do it on the Wi-Fi, and that makes it so it takes like 99 hours, and it's just, it's a mess. But it's all coming together. I got Demon Souls up and running. I'm going to start it tonight, so it's a, okay. it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. Okay. Are you, are, you, are you a big fan of Souls games? Yeah, I beat them all. I beat oh. everything except for Demon Souls, actually, which is the one that I'm playing now, which I'm very excited for, because, like, apparently it's way harder in a lot of ways, which is more, in like, it's 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 different and it's interesting, so it's my first time trying it. Bloodborne is my favorite, so I'm hoping we get a remake of that, but it's a good series. You should try it. Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I started, I played Dark Souls 2. That's and, the bad one. And actually, I played Dark Souls 1, and I didn't finish it, and then I played Dark Souls 2 a little bit and didn't finish it either, but I don't know, it's just... Uh, I feel like when it comes to those games, they don't feel like challenging. They feel more tedious, and I don't like tedious games anymore. Uh, but I also think that's just because I'm bad. So, like, you know, I'm sure that, like, if I, I were to that. sit and actually learn it, I wouldn't think it was as tedious. As as you see people, like, doing all kind of crazy speed runs with it all the time and just, you know, unarmed runs and all kind of stuff because they, they know the game. But, I don't know, I still have time to study it, I guess. I felt uh, don't, don't think they're bad games, though. Yeah, I felt the same way for a long time. It took me three tries. And it got up until there's a fight against two gargoyles in Dark Souls One. It's like a, it's like on the bell tower, and yeah. that was the point where I was like, okay, dude, I don't want to do this anymore. This sucks. And then something clicked, and I loved it. And I've loved the series ever since. And I feel like a lot of people have that, where like you got to try it a couple times. But now I'm into it. Maybe try it one more time. I mean, I don't know if you still have it, like in in on Steam or something. But I would recommend. I mean, I, it I could time. just get Demon Souls now. Like it's. I mean, it's seventy five bucks though. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you got PS5 games. Whoa! <laughs> that PS5 money right there, bro. What the? Honestly, though, they're yeah. with. I know that that's something. I guess we can talk about the rising prices of games. Uh, it really depends on the game. I will pay seventy five bucks for Horizon Zero Dawn two. Oh yeah, like, no question. Like it's not. I will pay eighty bucks for. I will pay ninety bucks for that for mm -hmm. sure. Like it's nothing. But yeah, it's got to be a game that I already know that I'm going to be super invested in, and I don't feel as invested in that one. Uh, yet, as invested in, in Demon Souls and Dark Souls and stuff yet. Yeah, I don't mind seventy five bucks. A lot of people are freaking out about it, but I don't know about you. I'm only buying games if I know that I'll like them. At least console games. I'll buy like anything for PC. Drop twenty, drop thirty, whatever. But if I buy something on console, I know I'm either gonna like it or it's important. Like I yeah. didn't think I would like Last of Us two, but everybody was talking about it, and I felt like it was like a a moment in gaming, so I felt like I had to try it. Um, but bro, I feel like me, bro. say what. That retweet, bro. I did. I did not. Oh, you did? Hello? Not on, on you, but on the main. Oh, okay. All right. Just want to make sure we was getting yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. No, I um, All right. I, I, I feel like games are taking longer and longer to make, and as it takes, like, years and years, yeah, I, I don't mind dropping another 10, 20, 30 bucks. I don't care. It's fine. I know I'll like it anyway, because I'm reading all the stuff about it before it comes out, you know? Yeah. That's fair. So, uh, but... All, all together, I guess we could start with the first topic since we've already been on it. The PS Fizzle. Yep. It is out. Uh, how do you like it? Because I, Well, I'll go first. I love it. <laughs> I traded in my PS uh, Pro for it. Um, I, I didn't really need to save any other data because like it was like the transfer data. If you have it on the cloud, I don't really need anything else off of it. Um, and honestly, I wasn't really playing any PS4 games anyway. Like, I just, mm -hmm. like, any, all the games, whenever I turn my PS4 on, it's like I bought a game. I play that game for like a month straight and then the PS4 goes away again. Yep. Until too. another game like that comes out. So it was real easy for me to just be like, all right, trading my PS4 Pro for the PS5. Um, I've I played uh, so far I've only played my Miles Morales. And the one thing that people were talking about outside of the graphics, obviously, was that the load times on the PS5 are amazing. Yeah. And like that's yeah, because like on the PS4, if you do fast travel, uh, you have to get that cutscene. Oh, of him where in the subway. he's traveling, yeah, in the subway. On the PS5, when you fast travel, you just show up. 
Like it's just <laughs> he's just walking out the subway. And it's like, oh, word, cool. that's crazy. Yeah, so that was that was that was really dope. Um, but overall, yeah, it's just a nice system. It's really big, and oh, now huge. that it's sitting next to my Switch, it looks like the, my Switch is just getting bitched, basically. <laughs> like, yes. Yep. But I mean, it, it it it's big, but I have the space for it, so I'm not complaining. But like, if you had like a smaller uh, entertainment system, yeah, yeah, this will have to be like sitting on top, basically. I like it being so big because I've got my I have my Switch mounted to the wall, so I've got like mm -hmm. a dock. And uh, I have a shelf right above the PS5 that holds a lot of mini systems, so like NES Mini, PlayStation Mini, all the like tiny things. And uh, I had a bunch of wires there of it coming down. I don't have that anymore because the PS5 just covers it. It's so big, like you can't see any wires. It's it's tactical. Um, you have it standing up or laying down? I have it standing up. I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't even. Right I don't think anybody has lying, lying down. If you do, you're a psychopath to me. Like I just. <laughs> That's a little it weird. Looks, yeah. It look like it looks like it's supposed to stand up. Like yep. it's, <laughs> it's curved on the on both sides. Like I just come on, bro. Like it, nah. It's nah. a monster. If it's not standing up. You're you're messing up. You're messing up. I actually uh I haven't played anything on it yet, but I really dig this. How did you play Bugs next? Controller. I played it on PC. Oh. I just got this today. I literally just got this today, but I really like the controller. It actually fits really well into your hand. I thought it was yeah. like I really like the PS4 controller, but this feels more like contoured and it feels It's the curve. It's like that that slight curve on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, dig it. I like yeah. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Cuz I we when I when I first unboxed it, I still had my PS4 controller cuz I, you know, I was playing Tekken, so I had mm -hmm. this extra one. And um I held them up both to the camera. I was like, oh, you know, here's the the side by difference. Side. It's a little larger, but uh for you know the curve of the hand works very well and i think for people with large hands such as you know me and or whatever like it's really nice mm -hmm. not to say that the ps4 controller was too small because i feel like the ps4 controller was a really good size too it's just they it's like they took a perfect controller and somehow like built on it and now it's perfect again so yeah good it's job amazing. playstation yeah how much PlayStation's uh... been doing a good job of doing that in general because like the playstation 3 i think that was the last one that had the uh sticks that were concave yeah um, yeah 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 yeah. or a convex i, th I mean and then yeah, they, they took them and made them concave and i was like that was probably the best thing you could have ever done <laughs> i like the uh the playstation button isn't a button it's just the logo like that I, oh yeah it's like little design decisions that i really like um i'm probably gonna trade in my ps4 because like this is backwards p compatible and it transfers save data why wouldn't i but how much did you get for yours uh one 50 175 something like that okay i think i'm looking at 100 but that's because i don't have a pro it's just the the uh, fat yeah one. i mean still that's pretty good for you know especially if you're training at gamestop like yeah i'll take a but. hundo i i used to keep all my systems but like what's the point <laughs> mm. it's like i can play all this stuff anyway i'm gonna i never beat crash bandicoot i might beat it on my ps5 i don't know so oh with the uh the insane trilogy thing no i did the new one four. Oh, okay four was good he but like it I thought it was wrapping. Have you ever play a game that you think is wrapping up and you're like, okay, cool, I'm happy. And then it opens up three new levels and you're like, oh, son of a bitch. I don't, I don't like you that much. You know? That was, like, uh, that was actually Kid Icarus. Uh, except Kid Icarus Uprising was good. It's just like you did 10 levels and the 10 levels like felt, you know, like you did some stuff. Yeah. And then the credits roll and then he breaks open the credits and then you do like 30 more levels. And you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you're like um oh, you it was, oh, you, like they really want the kid to pop off like yo more games and you're like oh my god yeah yeah just that was i was not expecting that much That's level funny. left because okay, if it was like you ripped the levels and then there was like five more levels i'm like all right that makes sense because yeah. i mean the the brunt of that game was to me was multiplayer anyway yeah but no that game just became became like four times longer right after that he was like you thought it was over psych like uh... <laughs> That's ugly. It's a good right. game, though. Fun game. Let's get into uh, anyway. Speaking of good games, topic Spider Man. Let's talk about Spider Man. Spider Man. All right. So this, I just beat Spider Man today, guys. So big shout outs to that. Um, it was, I think I did two, like, five hour streams, and then I beat it again, uh, or beat it today with like a three hour or two hour stream. So it was about twelve hours. Pog. Uh, I like that. Twelve to twelve to fourteen hours, I think, something like that. I know there was some stuff that I did off stream too. So about twelve to fourteen hours. Um, it is not Spider-Man 2, and if you go and expect Spider-Man 2, you will be disappointed. I will say that much. 
uh, because it is not nearly as long and as fleshed out, I guess, as Spider-Man uh, 1 was. Uh, but that is a double-edged sword because I think there was a lot of stuff in Spider-Man 1 that became tedious and boring mm -hmm. um, that is not included in this game. So there, it's a lot harder for stuff to get tedious and boring. There's still bases. There's still collectibles. Um, and there's still suits that you get off the collectibles, so they have reason for you to do it. The suits that you get off the collectibles are really good. Uh, the story, I don't remember too much about the Spider-Man first story. I've seen a decent amount of people saying that um, they like the first story better. I like the second story. Um, I think that I think it was a little predictable after like the first big plot twist, but it was still like a good story. You know what I'm saying? Like it still got the point across that Miles is like coming into his own as being like the new Spider-Man or whatever, or like the Spider-Man. Um, or I mean, the other Spider-Man still exists, but it's mm -hmm. like he's he is the Spider-Man. And for this, uh, for that game, he was the Spider-Man that game because Peter Parker was like on vacation or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, he's come to his own as like not depending on Pete to um, do anything. Like he has to start making decisions on his own, all that good stuff. Um, so I liked it. The combat was really cool. I don't think I did it the right way though, because I was expecting <laughs> from Spider-Man one he had like a shit ton of gadgets. And Spider-Man 2, he doesn't have as many gadgets, but he's all about the Venom powers. And I didn't start Venom powering until, like, way later in the game. Um, but overall, it, good game. Is it, like, a skill tree? No, no, no. no. It's, like, um, like Pete had, like, 18 different, like, gadgets. Yeah. Uh, and they were all, like, there were strong ones, too. He had, like, a gravity well. He had, like, a super uh, web, whatever. Um, um, uh, Miles only has four gadgets. Yeah, he had regular web he had uh like a gravity weld thing that kind of pulls people in instead of launching them up he had holograms and he had uh like a remote detonator thing and then on the other side of thing he had venom powers which are like uh it was like electricity powers mm -hmm. and he would do electric stuff like he'd have electric jump like oh, super electric punch electric dash all that good stuff and if you use like that's where the brunt of his damage came from. And I didn't really start doing that until late because in the first one, like obviously a brunt of my damage came from my gadgets. So I was yeah. still depending on gadgets, but that's not, it's not the wave anymore. It's about the venom. So uh, overall though, the gameplay is still relatively largely the same. You know, you go and beat a bunch of enemies, do air combos, uh, web them up. It's cool stuff. Um, uh, if I had to give it a, out of a 10, I'd, I, I gave it an eight, but since I don't really don't usually do numbers, I'd say it's a, Definitely play this game if you like Spider-Man out of 10, you know, give it a, give it a, it's a Spider-Man 1.5 out of 10 for sure. Give it a nice, solid, uh, open start to the PS5 season out of 10. That's what I give it. I, I looked it up and it looks like it's not that much shorter. Um, so the original Spider-Man on PS4 was about, it's, this says it was 14 hours. And Miles Morales is clocking in at 12. And it sounds like that's exactly what you had. is two five hours and then one two hour. Um, yeah, but I think that that's... I, I, think I, I, did, I think I definitely did more than 14 hours on Spider-Man 1 yeah. because I, I 100 percent everything. So. Well, maybe there was more side stuff. I don't know. I just... I, I'm not going to play Miles Morales. Not because, like... Like, I liked Spider-Man, but I didn't like it that... Like, I need more time. You know what I mean? I feel that. It's like, yeah. I, I feel like if I got back into it, it would be okay. But I'm still, like... As I, 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 Spider Man was one of the few games that I ever platted. Like, I got the platinum, and I remember distinctly how boring it was. Like, I had to go all the way from Manhattan to Queens, like, to beat up a mugger. Like, he's just like, it's, it's like, it's petty crime. It's like 20 bucks. He stole a lady's purse, and I gotta, like, it just, I don't know. It was obnoxious, but I, uh, yeah. I might play it once it's down to like 20 bucks or something, but not $75. Uh, but uh, I didn't. Good. I did not 100 percent it. Uh, by the way, half uh, half wifey. I'm I'm like, I think I'm at like 92 percent. So mm -hmm. I could you know probably just sit here in a Discord and do it on my own time. But yeah, I didn't. There was a there's a couple of missions where like you can't go back in until you beat the game. And now that I beat it, I can go back in and, and grab the stuff that I need. And then there's like two side missions that I need to do. So yeah, I'm pretty close. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, looks pretty good. But. You know what else looks good, according to Coney, is bug snacks. Let's talk Woo! about some bug snacks, bro. What's uh, what's that about? Everybody talking about bug snacks. So I actually, uh, so I beat bug snacks, uh, and I did the whole thing on stream, and I don't want to talk about it too much because there are big spoilers in the game. Uh, the game is basically, and and 
I, I'm, I'm trying not to say too much because I'm actually going to make a review on my YouTube, I think. Uh, and it's the first game I'm reviewing on my YouTube because I think it's very interesting outside of like a surface level game. So Bugsnax at the surface level is Pokemon Snap. It's just you play the game and they're, an they're animals and you catch the animals and the animals have different puzzles on how to catch them, whatever. Um, and then you beat the game and some stuff happens and, and it takes turns and like... It's 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 pretty fundamental, pretty basic at its core. It's a uh, it's a puzzle game, um, and it's amazing for if you're playing with other people who don't necessarily want to play. I didn't play it with Mal, but mm. I think that Mal would have loved it if uh, Mal's my wife. In case you're listening to this and don't know, um, I think she would have loved it because like it's very good for somebody to sit on the couch. You see like a an ice cream sandwich with wings it's like oh my god that's so cute how do you catch it and then you talk about it you know you can't take damage in the game there's no fail state it's just adorable um and without getting too much into spoilers I, I will get into spoilers on the review it does this really cool thing with its story where all the characters are very one note very cartoony very like tropey um and it's it's very much a kid's game for sure but it does a very interesting thing at the end, uh, which I, I hate that I'm not talking about it because it, I know I'm dancing around it, but I don't want I want. Wait, you already to try beat it. it? Yeah, I beat it's it's pretty short. Oh, okay. it's like maybe eight to well, where's nine. The, where's hours. the where's the replayability? There is none. Literally <laughs> none. Seriously, literally nothing. It's uh, so there are a hundred bug snacks. Okay. And none of them are all that hard to catch. Like the hardest one for me was a was was a mosquito but it wasn't that mo the mosquito was hard he was right next to a popsicle that wouldn't leave me the the hell alone so the <laughs> popsicle was the problem it's called a popsicle i hated okay. that guy but uh the game itself has zero replayability which sucks um the replayability might be in the speed run the speed run is only 15 minutes because you Ooh. clip through everything so i actually really like that i might actually start like try speed running it because it's just parkour like it's 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 fun um but yeah the game itself is uh is yeah, kind of boring um if you play it for a long period of time but if you have an audience like if you're, you're a streamer or if your audience is just you know somebody sitting on the couch with you it's really fun bro how did how do we get here okay <laughs> like, what, what? I, thought just, I thought we were all just like yeah this game no it's a great game i had a lot of fun anyway game's kind of boring uh <laughs> True. I mean, it is, dude. I listen. If I was playing on this game on my own without a stream, I would not finish it. But okay. if I was a kid, I'd be all over this game. If I was a child, I would be talking about bug snacks all day. So. Okay. Well, I what like else are you looking forward to on uh, the PS4 right or PS5 right now that is not out but is coming out soonish? Uh, I mean, right now I'm playing Demon Souls and I have literally no idea what else is coming. I know Horizon okay. Zero Dawn is apparently coming, but I just. I bought this console because eventually things will come. And I really wanted to play Same. Demon's Souls. That's all. Okay. All right. So what do you think about... All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here I mean, if go you have a throw, list... Throw a couple at you. Yeah. I got a list. What do you think about Cyberpunk? You uh, care about that anymore? That's PC. Yeah, but I mean, you can get it on both. I'm just saying. What do you think about it? <sighs> I mean, I'm excited, but I feel like... I, I got to be honest. I think something's going on with Cyberpunk. I think, uh, I think delaying a game is good. But I think if you have to delay it this many times... There's something wrong with it that you're scared you can't figure it out. Now, I could be right. wrong because the game did get it, it does have to be on like 10 different platforms and that's what they said the problem was. Totally get it. But I feel like if you keep delaying it, there's something wrong with the gameplay that you can't like it's it's just like they made a whole game and then they were like, "Oh no, the gunplay is boring." And now they're trying to figure out how to make it exciting. That's what I'm thinking. But maybe it's because it's on 50 platforms. It, I don't know. I'm pretty okay. cynical right now. Okay. Um, I... Oh, oh, there's another one. Uh, well, I know we're both, we're both thinking about Destruction All-Stars. We both want that. Oh, hell yeah. Much. Absolutely. Uh, Deathloop? Did you look into that? Yeah, yeah, but that's PC. That's the thing. Like Deathloop is PC too? Yeah. Nah, I'm still getting that on a PS5, man. Come on. You come Gotta on, get what? I'm getting a 3080. Come. I'm playing Deathloop on oh, PC. Okay, well, if you have a 3080, but I currently I'm on the 10. So once I get the 30, then yeah, maybe I will be back on some. Yeah, everything's PC again. Everything's PC, uh, bro. Ragnarok, I don't know if that's 
I don't know. I just I saw that look kind of cool. Uh, Far Cry Six. That's PC. Hood Outlaws and Legends. Hmm. No. Hood Outlaws and Legends. Yeah. Hood. Uh, semicolon Outlaws and Legends. I've never heard. Oh, it's Robin Hood. Uh, yeah. It's on Steam. Sorry, Sony. You ain't getting me. Actually, I guess they All did right. get me. I bought their damn console. So I guess. So what are we? What exclusives are? I have to look it up. Okay. I don't know. I don't. I mean, God of War. PS5 exclusives. Here we go. Let's Bloodborne just... remake, probably. Pog, 60 FPS. It says the best ones out right now is. They're giving us all the stuff that okay. Demon Souls, Pathless, Mar uh, Miles Morales, Rift Apart, Bug Snacks, Astro's Playroom. Bug Snacks isn't even. What you said you play on your PC? Yes, I am. It's not an exclusive. It's not on Xbox. I guess that counts. Oh. Okay. Well, that. Yep. Okay. Well, this. I, I don't. Is this? This better not be an article from like four days ago. Okay. Shut up. Like this, <laughs> that, That's such a cheating article. The best exclusive right now. Basically, just say the best games out right now and named every game that's out. Like. Okay. That's how you get clicks. You clicked on it. The click. I did. They got me. Yep. Okay. Tricked. Uh. All right. Well, they have yeah. Destruction Golf. Uh. Uh, what was that? Destruction All Stars. I guess Godfall has some time content. Cringe. Goodbye Volcano High has time content. Uh, half Laffy, that's a good point. I am gonna be playing PS4 games on it. I'm 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 halfway through Last of Us Two. I never true. beat it because I didn't want to turn on my PS4. I'll turn on my PS5. I what don't do you know think about why. that cat game, bro. Which game? Shrey. Oh, I, yeah, fine. I'll play. It. <laughs> I'll play. It's content, right? Like I'll play the cat game for a night. You know, why not? <laughs> it's fine. That's, that's definitely a content game, right? There. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. I, 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 there are a lot of games that I see and I'm like, I'm not going to like this, but maybe it'll be fun with, with the stream. Like with a crowd, you know, you can make more things fun. I don't know. said Final Fantasy 16, right? Dude. I didn't mention it. I want to play it. I don't know about how you feel about Final Fantasies. Uh, I wanted to play 15, but I heard it was boring and those games are just too long. Like they are very long. That, yeah, I just if I could get a nice, comfortable twenty hour Final Fantasy, hell yeah, absolutely. I played Final Fantasy Seven. I really liked it, the remake. Um well at least the gameplay. I hated the anime parts. But I really liked the gameplay, but again I'm just like this is too much. It's too much. Yeah, bro. That I mean, I think it's we're that that's mostly because we're older thing and like the game that the game types that we're used to have like immediate um, satisfaction. Maybe. Fighting games, you know, bam! Like we play for like ten minutes and then I win, and then you know, like <laughs> there it is, and then I can repeat that loop all day. Rogue likes I play for like thirty minutes and then I win, and then I can repeat that all day. With RPGs, it's just you're always going toward the end, and the end is so far away from the beginning that it's like damn dude if i don't like a lot 12 hour days for me to like do this i'm just gonna get bored or another game is gonna come out and i'm never gonna go back so my my problem like, with them is that like when i when i play a game i i have the addiction gene so when i play a game i chug it like i'll, I'll play it for 12 hours over like three days and i don't want to chug a whole week you know what i mean i can't maybe that's my fault but i don't want to like I, I don't I did this with Final Fantasy Remake where it's like I'm up at 10 a.m. on a weekend and I'm playing till like 7 p.m. and I'm like oh my god I lost the whole day but at least I'm halfway done with this game I didn't get to say that with Final Fantasy I was like oh wow I'm like a fifth done I gotta waste four more days um I I, I feel like that and I know that's my fault but I just I I got stuff to do and I'm just one of those people that just wants to... And the problem is if I don't chug it, if I don't finish the game all the way through, I drop it for months. And then I come... I'm about to do this with Last of Us 2. I'm going to come back. I'm going to be like, wait, what's the button for... Oh, God. How do I set this trap? I have to hold L2 and then press triangle. And, the, like... I, yeah, I almost restarted yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn because of that. Because, you yep. know, I did the three days before Zelda and then played Zelda and then came back. And I was like, dude, I forgot everything. But I was like, you know what? I'm... Three days of... 12 hour streams I, that's 36 hours of content i'm not doing that i'm not going back to yep, there yep. so uh so yeah i just i just mustered it up and remember how to play but yeah it was cool um i'm excited right, so, for the next horizon that's my number one thing yes but. for sure that's why you haven't finished astral train i'm in the same uh boat your boy mag i just 
I, I played a lot of Astral Chain, and then I forgot what came out around the time, and I tried to go back, and I was like, dude, I just this gameplay loop has escaped me now. Like, I know yeah. that I'm controlling one thing with the right stick and one thing with the left, but, like, what are these other buttons doing? I just forgot. Uh, anyway, moving on. We didn't get a lot of questions here, so if you want to ask your questions in chat, we'll answer those, too. But first up, we got, uh, I really like Longshore, LS Mewtwo saying, uh, just curious what your guys' picks for the game of the year are since the nominees just got announced. Um, yeah. I want Hades to win only because it's an indie game. And, like, that mm -hmm. would be such a victory for indie games uh even though it's been in development and it feels that it doesn't feel like an indie game but it definitely still is an indie game so i want hades to win but let me go ahead and look at the thing real quick to see uh what i've got the list here, here uh because i i oh go ahead i made a tweet about this earlier so it's animal crossing uh doom eternal final fantasy 7 remake ghost of tsushima hades and the last of us 2 i feel like the easy bait cannon fodder type deal is is final fantasy 7 like yeah every, you know and waiting, waiting on I mean, that forever yeah i mean but the thing is like final fantasy 7 is remake has been in talked about for years yeah you know what i mean and so like now that it's finally out it's like okay cool um so if i had to pick off of just like you know my thought process is that but if i had to pick a favorite that i want i want i want it to be Hades. i uh I like Hades. I think it's amazing. But I said I, t I tweeted this the the super giant mode of games where it's like it's a super simple gameplay loop. It's like not that ugh. it's not that complicated and it's it's not anything groundbreaking. The way that Super Giant makes games is they make one uh, very good, very competent sort of core structure. And then they build a ton of artistry and polish and presentation and sheen around it. So in Hades, it's the music, the voice acting, the art, um, the characterization. Like, everything is perfect. But the game itself is the same game that you play for 50 hours. Like, I'm doing the same thing over and over, and I'm giving this... Um, I'm giving the, the nectar to this guy, and then I have to use this currency here and it's like i know that that's how these games are structured and i think hades is the perfect roguelike because of it but those games no matter what i i would prefer a game that has a definite like beginning end and is structured all the way through and tells like a like a and and has a crescendo than a game that just goes on forever with a pretty simple loop I think i'm just the crescendo that crescendo was you know actually getting the the true ending of her you know bringing mom back but like after that there Ugh. is so much more game left for you to do uh if you want to like if you wanted to 100 percent it unlock everything there's like you have to do runs over runs on runs and you have to keep giving nectar now of course you can go ahead and do that thing where you're like i'm just going to go into a run and die so i can come back and give nectar but i mean now your stats are all messed up like <laughs> you know yeah i got i'm on like a 40 man 40 uh, game streak right now i don't want to ruin that just for some nectar so. i uh i didn't like the so you and i talked about this maybe it was on an episode here before or maybe it was just in a call but like i don't like the heat system because yeah i know hmm. i can put whatever heat i want like but i don't like that it doesn't it would be perfect for me if like if I went from one to five, if I got all the all the bonuses up to five, that might break the system a little bit. But I would like that way more than like okay, I have to do heats one, two, three, four, five, so I can get all the resources. I don't like that because there are five, there are six weapons. So do I really have to do it one? Do I have to beat the game one time each heat for each weapon? That's I don't like that because. I'm just playing the same game over and over. I got bored because it was 100% certain I was going to win. My character was so maxed out. And yeah, I can add more heat and I can add more modifiers, but like I could do that in any game. I could play Mario 64 and be like, okay, I can't jump. That's a self-made challenge. I could play Pokemon and, and do a Nuzlocke run. I don't care if the game tells me to do it or if I tell me to do it, if there are no consequences, you know? So I finished, uh, I did the 16 heat run. And then I was like, okay, I'm not doing this 32 heat. There's no reason to do it. The skeleton gives you a prize. And I'm like, I don't care. So I, I yeah. just, I stopped at that point. 
All right. Well, I mean, it is what it is. So I'm I'll giving it to Doom. Because Doom was... I, I, I said the same... I'm having the same issue with this year that I did in 2016, where it's like... Doom was my game of the year in 2016, not because it was amazing, but it hit the hardest for me, as opposed to, like, all the other stuff which hit, but not quite, you know. It didn't pop. Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't really get anything else crazy. I got who will win between TK Bunger and TK Bopsicle. I didn't, uh, <laughs> you don't didn't know play who the they game, are. but who will win? Who will win? Uh, Bunger. You know? Yeah, Bunger. Okay. Bunger always wins. I love Bunger. All right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I see you guys over here talking about being over, over leveled in, in Xenoblade too. I know that uh, I was, I mean, I just, dude, like that game has come out like eight times. Like, how do y'all? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I do not get it. I'm just <laughs> trying to understand, bro. Like, one, buying a remake once, okay. Buying a remake again, like, not even five, six years later. Okay. All right, buddy. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a good game, but there's so many games out there that you could be playing a new experience. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, isn't is. that game mad long too? Like, why would you? Play, it is. Why would you do it over and over? Like it Mario is. 64, I'll keep buying because you know it's a new platform and it's a it's short. But I mean, if it's fun, it's fun. I mean, I get y'all. If that's your type of games, I I want to I want another X Xenoblade Chronicles X. However, if there was a Xenoblade Chronicles X that already came out, well, I guess it wouldn't have come out. Uh, let's say it comes out for the Switch, right? And then I don't know. The Nintendo swap is is announced, and then uh, they're like, "We're gonna put it on this system too." I'm not rebuying that game. Like, I just, I already, I got my fill. You know, I played Disney Play Chronicles X a long time ago. I got to play it again uh, recently. I'm definitely not about to buy that again on the third system. Like, that's just that's too much. That's that's, that's, that's a too little much. much. Yeah, uh, I will say. So all the uh, the nominations came out, fellas. I'm going to be doing okay. the nominations on my stream tonight, uh, going over what games I think will win each category. So uh, tune in. It'll be a good time. Yeah, you should definitely do that uh, as we are near, nearing the end of the – actually, just at the end of this episode. So thank you all for watching another episode of Y'all Gaming. This will go up on the Prediction channel uh, very soon as you can get all their stuff listed on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. But I still will be making the tweet to be like, in case you missed it, so you can find it really easily. Yep. Make sure you follow Prediction on Apple, uh, on uh, Spotify, on YouTube. And also check them out on juke.gg if you check out a lot of esports because they have way more podcasts than just this. We have podcasts for COD. We got podcasts for League. Got all kind of podcasts, man. So if you want to keep up uh, with esports, Prediction is the way to do it. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, we'll probably see you later. Cody State's going to be streaming uh, later tonight. I might stream later tonight. I don't know. I might just shop, show up in his channel. But until then, Ooh. wear a mask, stay safe, and have a good night. See you, fellas. Goodbye.